Change the story, change the future. The work that I did with seeds and food sovereignty completely changed the story that I had grown up with around food and relationship to land and gardening. As a child, had it was so dominated by um, a Western understanding of land and plants as commodities. So the, the work that I was doing with Native organizations with um, the seeds themselves helped me shift to an Indigenous worldview of understanding everything around us as relatives. I was given over the past 20 years of volunteering to work with Indigenous seeds, working with Native organizations, doing seed and food sovereignty work, learning from elders, learning from the seeds themselves, plus writing my first two books, it all went into The Seed Keeper. It became this big, just labor of love for those seeds so that I could express what was so beautiful and magical about changing up our relationship to seeds and to plants and to the earth. This is intended to be a story about relationship. And by going back, actually by opening it with the seeds, speaking on their own behalf about that original uh, agreement and relationship, and then showing the women, the Dakota women in 1862 who were hiding the seeds to protect them. And then seeing that relationship evolve to what it has become in contemporary times with corporate farming, with all of these chemicals being applied to the soil. And to ask that question of all of us, what consequences are there from this, this changing relationship that we've chosen to go down this path? And what does that mean for the seeds? What does that mean for us as human beings? What does that mean for the land? This is a book for me very much about relationship, which is central to an indigenous understanding of how human beings um, are co-creating the world with the land, with plants, with animals. For me, that is the central lesson where we are today is the result of choices that we've all made. And how does this relate to our relationships then with each other as human beings? Beginning that conversation with all of these groups about how can we be more intentional, more mindful about our practice around seeds, around plants, around water, um, the food that we plant and grow and eat, the choices that we make, We'll talk about this as a spiritual practice.